say something or address the discussion we've had briefly? I just want to say, I mean, look, uh, to see such a wonderful assembly of people, that means there is something happening about sports in India which is which is positive and which is very encouraging. And, you know, when you've got athletes like uh, Sakshi and Deepa and... Uh, Priya. 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 Uh, because Parth has put his shoulder behind the wheel for a long while now. And, uh, look, I think there's nothing which brings the country together better than sport. You know, this kind of gets we saw what happened in Mumbai for the big World Cup team. Lacks and lacks of people on the streets. And it gives, I think it increases the health quotient and the happiness quotient of the country. You know, so our athletes winning medals and uh, our athletes going out and proving to the world that we are as good as anybody else is a great sense of pride for us, national pride. And I think we need to take care of our athletes. I'm completely in agreement with Takshi and Deepa that you know, you can't become a sporting nation if 50% of a population is not involved, which is the females. The, the, the and what child. can we do from the media? You think that we should look at things other than cricket as well? Yeah, and we are beginning to do that, of course. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I think, uh, you know, the more you see of the athletes on screen, cricket has an advantage that it is just played for so long in terms of time. You know, even a T20 game is four hours. So, the, the sheer presence of faces, the Dhoni or a Kohli or a Rohit Sharma, in this guy's country. So, the identification is greater. Uh, Neera Chopra's entire event might, you know, it's over in minutes. I mean, the whole process might take long, but his own participation is... So, I think we need to... That sensibility has to develop in our audience. Cricket is so popular because everybody wants to read about it and see it. So, and it's, it's a long legacy to kind of erase overnight. I think we just need to write more. There are so many great stories in Indian sport, you know, which, which need to be played up. Thank you. And actually we've delayed you. <laughs> Absolutely inspiring to hear from such a committed, thoughtful um, panel about pathways for sports infrastructure in India and the way sports opens up paths for leadership, nation building and collaboration. Thank you so much for this conversation to all of you for joining us tonight. And once again, a big thank you to our partners, JSW, Muso, the Consulate General of France and our wonderful speakers. At Asia Society, we do pride ourselves at being at the forefront of business policy and cultural issues by asking important questions and finding the right people to answer them. And I hope you found today's conversation interesting and will continue to stay engaged with us. But as we part for the evening, and I know it's been a long evening, I'm excited for these two weeks over July and August when we get to see the best of India and the best of athletes from all over the world enthrall and inspire us with their sporting magic and commitment. And of course, we'll be rooting for Team India, dressed up in their JSW-inspired gear, a jersey curated and designed by JSW. And after the discussion, like the one we've had tonight, I hope we can look at the sporting effort of our athletes and their dedication at the Olympics with new eyes. Thank you. I do want to let you know that Sohini's book, which is an absolutely wonderful read, is available outside for you to pick up, and I'm sure she'll agree to sign a few copies. So please do go get yourself a couple of uh, uh, a copy for yourselves. Thank you very much, everyone. Good night. <laughs>